Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand, is not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 229 pounds. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chest, too. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, 
on. He lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab off. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow up? Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Timely defense there, huge block for him. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Come on, push through Strong defense there to block the shot. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Choi. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Lands a huge right hand. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. He got him. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Clipped him with the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands, was hurt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whiffs on that offering. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Choi's kick to the body, that one blocked. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, he hurt a bad with the jab. Ten seconds to go. Choi gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Now listen. Probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head moving and start popping that jab. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would evenly match. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Look at the whip action that comes from throwing that kick. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. It's such a fast leg kick. Unable to land with that punch. There, we'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Head kick! It's high. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice leg kick land. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. There you go, look for the shot. Great punch landing with so much power. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, at this point, he's gotta be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with a strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Punch over the top. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. All right, single collar tie now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, nice strike landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, right here. Some nice back and forth action here. Just misses with the straight left hand. Choice kick blocked. Nice punch land over the top. Just missed with the left there. And he landed the right hand there. Right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Still a nice body kick land. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Joy gets caught with that punch, got to show off the defense here. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? 
no discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Bunches and bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Good punch, Lance. Attempts the front kick there. He's very tricky to throw that body. Joy's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Visibly limping here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Back and forth we go. Oh, that's a good strike there by Short. What a right hand by this young man. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. Too. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. What a body kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. Just out of range with the big right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Over and over, he's landed his big body kick. Liver kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at how he took How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Checks that leg kick. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the other. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Not there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a punch. Felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy employ this kick-heavy strategy. Way to hide that leg kick. 
Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Nice. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training you, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better. In well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Straight punch land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And they separate. Strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Choi gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Just misses there with the left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Able to check that kick as well. Left hand punch to the clinch. Strong work with the jabs there by Choi. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John. But he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Good punch. Joy gets caught by that straight punch there. Big leg kick lands. Nice counter left hook. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Good stick. Choi's uppercut is blocked. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> out of range with that one. Punch is blocked. They continue to exchange. Oh, big punch land. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country.
Butler trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back underway. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Real quick leg kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by the